In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. This beautiful prayer was used in the past when the priest blessed the people. On New Year's Day, we invoke God's name upon ourselves for the year ahead. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, this is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites and I will bless them the word of the lord thanks be to god I 
His humanity is the glory of our human race. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent His Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoptions as sons as proof that you are sons, God sent the Spirit to His Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave but a son, and if a son, then also an heir, true God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In this day, in these last days, He has spoken to us through the Son. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord.
The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw him this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherd returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Good morning. Para bukas yun. Pakibati naman po na inyong katabi ng Happy New Year. Ano ba? Magsisimula ang taon. Wala kayong energy. Ganyan na ba tayo the whole year? ba diba sabi nga natin, mga marami tayong mga mapamahiin. Pero bago tayo pupunta doon, puntahan muna natin yung tinatawag natin ang nakaraan. Marahil nasambit natin sa ating mga sarili, sana walang all. Sana sayang pero salamat pa rin. Sana ganito ang nangyari, sayang ang opportunities. Pero Lord, whatever happened, Salamat pa rin. Buhay pa rin tayo at nandirito pa rin tayong lahat. Sabi nga na isang uh, sabihan, Yesterday is history. Alam niyo kung anong pelikula yon? Kung Fu Panda. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is mystery. Today is a gift. That is why it is called present. Sana, sayang, pero salamat pa rin. Lahat siguro tayo dito, nagpapasalamat sa pagkatay, makakaabot, hopefully ilang oras na lang, makakaabot ng 2022. So, makakahinga tayo ng malalim, ay, sa wakas, nakaisang taon din. Ngayon, Marami tayong mga pamahiin kapag tayo po'y sumasalubong sa ating tinatawag na New Year. In terms sa pera, bukas daw, sabi, iwasan nyo rin gumastos kasi whole year kayong gagastos. Bakit? Hindi na kayo gagastos, hindi na Iwasan din daw ang magbayad ng utang kasi sabi, baka whole year na kayo mangungutang. Kaya maganda siguro next bukas mangutang, no? Bawal din at huwag kayo magpautang kasi hindi na kayo babayaran. Sabi, maglagay ng bulsa, ng, hindi, maglagay ng pera sa bulsa. At sabi nga, ang ilagay daw points. Pagdating ng alas 12, alugin ito para pampapasok daw ng suwerte. Well, tinry ko na yun dati. Mahirap pa rin kami. Magbilang ng pera. Ito, magbilang ng pera sa may pintuan. Bakit sa may pintuan pa? Para mahold up kayo. Malaking kamalasan, kakapasok lang ng taon. Mga bagay. Huwag maglabas daw ng kasangkapan. Sino ba naman na maglalabas ng kasangkapan sa New Year na New Year? Kasi malas daw pag maglabas ng kasangkapan o gamit. Huwag nyo na ilabas yung asawa ninyo. Huwag magwalis. Kasi mawalis mo raw yung kung ano pa man. 
Huwag maghugas ng pinggan. Ang gamitin niyo raw, paper plates. Ang dami, no? Pag-uugali. Iwasan ang maging mainitin ang ulo at nakasimangot. Kasi hulyar ka ng mainit ang ulo at hulyar ka ng nakasimangot. Mahirap nga naman yon. Meron kayo kakilalang ganun? Iwasan ang magchiswis. Baka maging member ka ng Maritis Group. Iwasan din naman pala, no? Kasi baka maging member ka ng Mari, anong latest? Sabi dito, susurtahin ka rin kapag ka bumati ka ng Happy New Year. O Happy New Year sa inyong lahat. Bilog. Pagkain bilog. Biko. Kung bilog ang lalagyan ninyo. Yung iba nga nagpiprepare pa ng prutas. Dose daw kailangan. Meron na ba kayo? Ang dami-dami natin pamahiin. Pero sa totoo lang po, wag po kayong kumain ng biko at magpaputok. Perfect din sa recipe po yan. Combination niya ng baka kumakain ka ng biko at nagkamay ka pa, ahawa ka ng paputok, didikit yan. Pagpasok mo sa 2022, wala na ang kamay mo. Kaya wag kayong kumain ng biko at magpaputok. Baka instead na swerte, malas nyo. Magpaputok. Mag-ingat din po. Paglasing, huwag nang magpaputok. Baka instead na swerte, malas ang dadaanin ninyo. Sa damit, yung iba magsusot na mamaya ng polka dots. Kasi, hugis bilog, hugis pera, hugis coin. Huwag na kayo sa coin. Meron pong damit na merong pera, tagi isang libo. Meron pong ganun. Mahirap din po yung coin. Kahit pag ino-offer nyo nga dito eh, pag nag-coin, coin minalagay ninyo, yung aming mga kolektora na hirapan, mabigat daw. Ang dami-dami natin pamahain. Minsan, inaano natin na, swerte, swerte, lucky, pampaswerte, kung ano-ano pa man yan. But remember this, yung swerte o yung lucky, kung ano man yan, ibig nyo sabihin yan, minsan kasi external yan. Remember this, you are blessed, you are not lucky, you are blessed. You just have to recognize, you just have to recognize it. You are blessed that you are here. Blessed na po kayo na nakaabot kayo ng 2022. You are blessed that you have your family. You are blessed that you have life with you. You are not lucky. Hindi ka swerte. You are blessed by the Lord. Tandaan natin yan. Okay po yung ano, I don't really mind, I respect your pamahiin. But sometimes in life, we have to embrace that we are blessed more than lucky. Ang tanong, Father, bakit nga ba yung Ibanghelyo ngayon para bukas, actually, sa New Year, is all about Mary, the motherhood of Mary. Sa tingin ko po, simple lang. Because each year, we are reminded of our humble beginnings. We are reminded kung kailan at saan tayo nagsimula. It is good to be reminded every year of our humble and simple beginnings. Today, For tomorrow, we are celebrating the motherhood of Mary. The fundamental title, the most important title of Mary, the mother of God. Lahat, lahat ng mga title ni Mama Mary ay nakaugat dyan. The Immaculate Conception is a preparation of Mary, ng Diyos, na si Mary ay gagawin niyang ina ng Diyos. At halos lahat, kung titignan natin yan, Mary was a mother all throughout her life. Kaya kung titila natin, bakit motherhood? Pinapaalala sa atin na lahat tayo dito ay nanggagaling sa isang ina. Sa ating pananampalataya, nanggagaling tayo sa isang ina, inang Maria. 
At siguro na ngayon, maganda ning alalahanin natin ang ating mga sariling ina. It's good to be reminded kung saan tayo nanggaling na kahit gaano pa man kalayo ang ating narating sa buhay, we will still go back to our very own family. That is why Mary is our model of starting a year. Mary is our model of starting a year. Bakit po? Tomorrow is a mystery full of our uncertainties. Nung tinanggap ni Mary ang buhay na pagiging ina ng Diyos, it was full of uncertainties. It was a mystery. But she embraced the motherhood. Nakakatakot po ito. But she embraced it with courage and with hope and with faith. Bakit? Ganun naman dapat harapin ang bagong taon. We may not know it. We may not know it. But if we have the courage, we have the hope, and we have the faith, then we can face our future, our tomorrow, with excitement. Exciting. Ganun ang buhay. Exciting. Kasi kapag alam mo na ang mangyayari bukas, parang sabi nga, uncertainties of life make our life exciting and meaningful. Pansin ninyo, kapag nanonood kayo ng live sa replay, halimbawa, pag nanonood kayo ng NBA, kung may mga sa NBA, di ba pagka na, halimbawa, naglaro yung Lakers sa Golden State, pag sa live, kakakabakahan ka. Ako, paglamang yung Lakers ng isa. Tapos, ahawa ka ni Stephen Curry. Si Stephen Curry, kahit saan, to, saan tumitira yun. Kakabahan sila. Pagbitaw ng bula, kakabahan ka. It's live. Hindi na shoot. Panalo ang Lakers. <sighs> Bapa pa ganun ka. Panuorin mo ng replay. At alam mo na kung anong result. Meron bang nanalo yung Golden State? Ano ba? Lang nanalo yung ano, replay hindi. That is why what makes life exciting and meaningful is the uncertainties of life. Di natin alam. But we have that courage. We have that faith. We have that hope of Mary that God will give us the necessary graces to survive and to be a mother and perhaps a sister to each one of us. In the gospel that we have read, nilagay dito, Mary, Mary pondered these things in her heart. Wala pa kasing camera noon eh. Wala pang camera noon, wala pang videos. Anong nangyari kay Mary kapag ka meron siyang mga bagay na hindi niya maintindihan? Mary pondered all these things in her heart. Sa panahon natin ngayon, we have pictures, we have videos. Ano po ito? These are the savored moments that we keep in our hearts that we want them to be treasured for the rest of our lives. Kaya kapag kayo mga taong, sa totoo lang, yung mga taong tunay na nagmamahal, they capture every moment of your life. May mga nanay dito, may mga tatay dito. Di ba lahat nalang ng moments ng anak ninyo, kinukunan ninyo, monthly, merong, merong handa, birthday, binyag, lahat, unang nasugatan, lahat, documented. Why? Because we want to savor, we want to keep that memories in our hearts. Ganun si Mary, she kept all these things in her heart. Kaya nga siguro sa atin, habang tayo po ay papalating na, haharapin na natin ang bagong taon. Let us be like Mary, full of courage, full of hope, and full of faith. May dalawang image ba akong iwan sa inyo bago po tapusin na aking homily? Siguro marunong tayo dito magpalipad ng saranggola sa, sa pangkasinensis. Boraron ba? Boraron. Kite. Pansin ninyo, kapag ka saranggola, merong mag-ama mag mag na nagpapalipad ng saranggola. Habang nagpapalipad sila, sabi nung anak, Tat, uh, Daddy, may, may ilalayo pa ba yung ano, 
yung ating saranggola. May, mayroon pa naman, may itataas pa, may ilalayo pa yan. Dadagdagan natin ng tali. Okay? O sabi ng anak, what if daddy puputulin natin yung tali, lalayo din ba siya? Yes, actually, lalayo din siya. Pero, babagsak siya. Hindi ba? Sa mga marunong dito magsaranggula, alam natin yan. Nakaba once pinutol mo yung tali, it will fly, but with no direction. And eventually, it will fall. Ganon din yan sa buhay, sa pananampalataya, sa ating pamilya. The moment that you cut your relationship with your family, that's the moment. Well, perhaps, lalayo ka, makakalayo ka, but eventually, you will fall at hahanapin mo ang connection mo sa pamilya mo, sa panampalataya mo. Never cut that relationship. Always remember the kite. Pag may tali, may control, may direction. Never cut off our relationship with God, especially also with our family. Pangalawa, ewan ko lang kung mahilig pa kayo dito, duyan. Alam yung duyan? Hamak ba ang English doon? Hamak, I don't know how it is pronounced. Duyan. Nung tayo'y bata pa, tayo po siguro ay dinuyan sa sinapupunan ng ating mga ina. Nine months. And for nine months, yung ating ina ang ang humahawak sa tiyan. Perhaps kinakantahan tayo. Hindi ko alam paano kinanta sa atin. Hindi ko rin alam paano kinanta sa akin. Basta for nine months, ang nasa tayo na sinapupunan ng ating mga ina. At sabang tayo po'y lumalaki, ang nagiging duyan ng ating buhay ay yung mga braso ni nanay at ni tatay, particularly ni nanay. Di ba? Ginaganyan ka? Hanggang eventually, ako'y lumaki sa duyan. At naalala ko kapag ang nanay ko, kapag gusto magtrabaho, ilalagay ka sa duyan. Di ba? Bawa, ito isang example sa akin. Kapag ang nanay ko, Naglalaba, wala man kaming katulong. So itatali, kumot, itatali doon sa may kusina. Tapos may tali. Kasi habang naglalaba, lalagay doon. Pag iiyak yung kapatid ko, hihilain niya yon. Andito lang ako. Ibig sabihin, andito lang. May ba ganyan? Pag iiyak ulit, ganyan. Andito lang si mama. Tapos hanggang ano, dito lang si mama. Pag iyak ng iyak, bibirahin mo magano din ang mother ko, ah, hilo yung kapatid ko, itulog. But you see, that do yan, that sense of being relaxed, that sense of being home, that sense of care, may tali. At habang tayo po'y lumalayo sa ating buhay, huwag nating putulin din yun. Na habang tayo lumalayo, sasabihin sa atin, it's okay, I'm just here. It's okay, I'm just here. And I think, as we face the uncertainties of life for this coming 2022, let us remember the kite, yung saranggola. And let us remember yung tinatawag natin na duyan ng ating buhay. Huwag nating putulin ang connection para hindi tayo mawala sa direksyon. Kaya atin pong tatandaan, sabi nga na though there are many uncertainties of life, sabi, never be afraid to trust an unknown future to a known God. Huwag tayong matakot magtiwala sa ditiyak na hinaharap sa isang Diyos na ating kilala. Just like Mary who gave her trust, her hope, her love, There are uncertainties of life, di katiyakan. But what is certain is this, that God will be there with us. And I think, whatever uncertainties of life, it will be exciting. Let us all stand. Together, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, 
the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for as man and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come, come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Hoping that we will get through this year by relying on your grace, dear Father, as we face new challenges and opportunities, we pray for you, Father, that, that the Prince of Peace, born of Mary, may guide, us through, may guide us as we struggle to incarnate the gospel values in our lives. For every petition we shall answer, God of Peace, listen to our prayer. God of Peace, listen to our prayer. We pray for our Pope Francis, of the bishops, priests, and deacons. May they be instruments of peace and unity in communities where hatred and division reign. We pray. God of peace, listen to our prayer. We pray for the leaders of nations. May they value dialogue more than dissent and promote restorative justice so that people may live in tranquility and work for their advancement. We pray. God of peace, listen to our prayer. We pray for all those persecuted because of religion, class, race, gender, or color. May they find support and comfort for those who work for justice and peace, and in their community, we pray. God of peace, listen to our prayer. We pray for the end of the pandemic. May the Lord continue to heal those who are infected, protect those who are in the front lines, and grant eternal rest to those who have died, we pray. God of peace, listen to our prayer. We pray for all of us gathered. May the good Lord protect us against adversity and sin. May we be instruments of God's peace throughout this year, we pray. God of peace, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. God of peace, listen to our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear our humble supplications. Help us to spend our whole life in your service and bring peace to our brothers and sisters. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who in your kindness began all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginning of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal life, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and the powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virgins of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of our of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullest of charity together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now to offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please Prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy of fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That the conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected at all times. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. The genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates Bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. We have received the heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, mother of your son and mother of the church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bago po ikaw na huli po babasbas, nais po namin magpasalamat sa ating choir, sa ating lectors and commentators, sa ating mga Eucharistic ministers, 
sa ating pong auto servers. Maraming salamat po sa inyo at sa inyo po na nagsimba ngayon. Maraming salamat po sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta po sa amin. Sa ngalan po ng aming prior na si Father Stephen Redillas OP at si Father Roby Roberto Reyes OP, ang administrator ng parokya, kami po ibumabati sa inyo ng Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. may nakalimutan ko pala, mga ushers din pala, saka mga kolektoras. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace, pour out His blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout the year. Amen. May He give you integrity in the faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity with holy patience to the end. Amen. May He order your days and your deeds in His peace and grant your prayers in this and every place and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick, and afterwards, we pray for the blessing of the rosaries and religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Feed them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary, Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and religious articles and images. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary, Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.